Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This one's kind of going to be more of an event than anything else. Um, this tangent more has to do with something that happened very recently. So, as everyone knows, about a week ago was when um, Thanksgiving and Black Friday passed by. And as fun as it was to experience those days, I, there's one issue that I noticed that seems to cross paths with employees a lot during that time era. And that circumstance is just the fact that if you're presented with a very specific group of individuals or a very specific job or a very specific manager, you could request those days off and technologically it'll be approved but then afterwards you'll be scheduled to work anyway you'll be asked to go in anyway and the verbal response from the boss who made that happen kind of showed that they just don't seem to care now to reiterate, when I say this, I'm not saying they verbally say they don't care. What I'm saying is just that their actions and visual response to what, when you approach the person for that matter, their visual response will kind of just give you an idea of, like, the manager kind of abusing the fact that they are able to use you as an employee instead of like you know appreciating the fact that they have you in the first place they'll just be like not nah, you're working I know I said you can have off but you're working now the reason I'm venting about this is more due to the fact that this is exactly what happened to Pink Fox um, and I kind of wanted to talk about the matter this is not okay however Legally, I don't know if this is state or not nationwide in the U.S. If it's state, then it's Utah. If it's nationwide, United States. Either way around. By law, if Pink Fox, who was originally a month prior to the events, approved to be off on Black Friday and the day after... If she were to skip out on working either of those days, which, by the way, she was scheduled the fri that Friday for some stupid reason, if she were to skip out on it, legally she cannot get in trouble for it. However, the manager that we have has a tendency to just go off of their own now, this happens with a lot of fast food managers. Bear in mind, it's not uncommon for a fast food a general manager, a store manager, to act on things the way they want it to be. It is not uncommon for that to happen. But it is frowned upon. It's, it shows blatant disregard. Not okay. Now a while ago I talked about something called a golden apple manager. Luckily for Pink Fox, when I let her know about the whole schedule thing, she called the store. And lucky for her, our store's golden apple manager was actually there. Now to reiterate, uh, for those who have not seen the golden apple manager video I put up a while ago, it, the basis of it is one of the best managers you could possibly have. If you can think of a quality that is extremely good that you would definitely want in a manager that's reasonable, then this, man, this type of manager will have it. Our store's golden apple manager was the one who ended up getting spoken to. And 
He was very reasonable about the circumstance. He understood the fact that this day was requested off. His response was, well, why not talk to the GM um, about the matter, and we'll just see what we can do from there. Pink Fox also stated that she was not going to show up, and quite frankly, given the circumstances, that our Golden Apple manager was very understanding about this. Oops. But the fact that this had to be done, these actions had to be made in the first place, is just kind of dumb. It, it is really, really stupid. Now take this, and compare it to the first job that I had. Uh, the store manager was there li almost literally all the time, which makes sense. I mean, general manager, store manager, it's basically the same thing. Um, this man that was part of the first job that I had, if you, if you were to say, hey, I need this day off for this reason and this cause for this amount of time, manager would literally make a note of it and put it on their computer screen and leave it there until the date has passed. But up until that point, it would stay there. This is something that kept him consistent of, hey, I need to respect my employees, so I'm going to do this. Employee respect is a very big deal. In fact, another aspect of this was talked about between Pink Fox and I, and that aspect was actually more the matter of if this did not get any better from the GM that we have, people were going to start leaving. And it shows. I am not going to list names at all. The Pink Fox is leaving because she's got the police academy that she's aiming for, which I'm very proud of her for, by the way. Um, I would be leaving because I, from our plans, I am going to be the stay-home dad. Yeah, it's basically the reverse of the stereotype that a lot of people hear, which I don't mind. I mean, I kind of, for some weird reason, I've suspected as much for a while. Anyway, several of our other um, co-workers kind of plan around the same kind of idea for different reasons. Some of them are leaving because they can't handle the amount of stress that our GM puts. Some of them are leaving because of school. Some of them are leaving because they found a job that suits them better. Or at least they think. Whether one way or the other. Basically, every good employee that the store could potentially have, almost every single one is leaving. Honestly, the core of it is probably just because the management sucks. Now, for me, for someone like me, it's 100% bearable. I, I can deal with it. Sure, I'll have frustrating moments every now and then, but if it's not a career, you're going to have those. It's actually kind of expected. That's why I haven't like gone the, over the deep end on it or anything. With how dark that phrase is, it does make sense. And there's a rare occasion where you'll find an employee like that. For the most part, though, If a store was run expecting employees to be like that, the store would fail. And quite frankly, in the long haul, if things keep going the way they are, I hate to say it for the sake of those who like um, Arby's food, but that's where this store is heading. And it doesn't give a, it doesn't lead a good front on the company either. And I feel bad for the company for that because, from what I understand it. Things are done great from it. Um, it's a corporate store, by the way, where I work, and I've come across corporate before. Good people. Very, very good people. They don't deserve this kind of upfront look. But the aspect of separating personal life scenario from job or career, depending on who you are. I don't know why someone would call it career, but apparently some people do. If you cannot separate the two, you're just leaving a bad mark on the job itself. And unfortunately, this GM, I hate to say, but that's exactly what leads to this response that's given a lot of the time. 
this disregard is not intentional. I don't think. At least not consciously intentional, but subconsciously, I actually think it is. And that comes from the personality core itself. Because it doesn't separate the two sometimes. And sometimes he does, and in those cases he's actually a really, really good boss. But at the times where he doesn't, large disregard becomes a very, very big problem. But I don't know. This, this, I've gone 10 minutes of venting about this. I'm going to stop here. For those who stuck around for this video, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you agreed with anything I had to say about these kind of managers who act this way, make sure to give the video a like. Uh, Want to check out any of the discussion rant type videos? Click the link on the side of my head over here. You'll find quite a bit. I think it's like over 180 at this point. Maybe 280? I don't know. I don't want to look it up right now. <laughs> if that's not quite floating your boat, but you stuck around for the end of this video, um, why not click the link on the other side where you'll find something that might suit you a bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into the video, everyone, and I hope to catch you guys in another video. See you guys later.